Paris has a heart, and it beats at Saint-Germain-des-Prés, the epicentre of the intellectual and artistic life of the capital. It wasn't always the case. Saint-Germain-des-Prés was a charming little village built round its splendid abbey. It was first and foremost a religious community. In 558, Childebert, son of Clovis, founded the abbey Saint-Croix et Saint-Vincent to house the relics brought back from the siege of Saragossa after the surrender of the Wisigoths. Germain, Bishop of Paris and future saint, advised him to build it on high meadows, Les Prés in French, above the floodplain. The abbey was renamed Saint-Germain-des-Prés after Germain died in 576. Together with its monastery, the abbey became the richest in France. It owned and controlled thousands of acres of land on the left bank and had fishing rights in the upper reaches of the Seine. The side chapel Saint-Jacques is fastidiously decorated in Baroque style, as is the Saint Anne chapel. The cupola represents the kidnapping of the prophet Elijah, conceived by Walter Damere. In the transept, the Virgin's chapel was designed following plans by Bernini and the statue of the Virgin and Child was sculpted by Antonio Raggi. Two rows of sculptures face each other, and behind the hospital names are the faces of Trousseau, Bordelloc and Percy. And by consulting a list of Academy members, we discover that Clemenceau and the writer Georges Duhamel were also doctors. There are surgeons, pharmacists, chemists like Pasteur, narrowly elected into the Academy, and also vets. There was no medicine for humans without animals. And not forgetting Marie Curie, twice Nobel Prize winner and the first woman to be admitted into the Academy. The conference was attended by the other key figure of post-war Saint-Germain, Boris Vian, who described in Froth on the Daydream there was a melee, chairs broken and Sartre had to elbow his way back to the stage, such was the fervour, confusion and enthusiasm. It was this freedom which expressed itself through the fashion Zazu, but also through the bias of a phenomenal passion for a music based on improvisation, jazz. Mm -hmm. 